Hey everybody, welcome to the NBA Play-In Tournaments. I'm Son of Beast, and I am ready to see who the ninth and 10th seeds are. This is where it comes down to the finishing line for this last one, the win to get in for the last spot in the eighth seed. As for the last two games, we have seen that the Heat crushes out the Magic. And this one, as the Heat moves on to the seventh seed team, they are making it a lot easier and impossible to take their way down in. As Magic will have to face against the winning team between the Hawks and the Bulls. Bulls are the ninth seed team, and the Hawks are the tenth seed team. And in the other side, we have across the Suns finish off strong, and they play against the OKC Thunders on the other side of the range. Following along with the next game for tomorrow night will be the Lakers and the Warriors happening here at Los Angeles. And this is not their day to be here. If they wanted to keep on this way down, they might do what their pride is to keep their strength. Here's how the starting lineups are going to take things on. Who will it be? You'll see. Trey Young, Deontay Murray, DeAndre Hunter, Jalen Johnson, and Clint Capella. And for the Bulls, Kobe White, ready to look off for his postseason run with his advantage with the starting lineup. With A.O. Dasamu, Alex Caruso, DeMar DeRozan, and Nikola Vucevic. My next commentators I will have is Brian Anderson, and he's along with the 2K Sports crew, and finally, Ali LaForce, here with United Center. Yes, I recognize that stadium, so don't question me what the arena is. Time to send you over to Chicago, as the game starts now. Let the games begin between the 9th and 10th seed of the Eastern Conference game. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Confident and ready for action, the Bulls as they head to the locker room earlier. The hometown crowd certain to give them a warm welcome. And a happy Thursday evening to you folks. Hope you're ready for some NBA action here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Chicago Bulls here at their home, United Center. Hi, everybody. This is Brian Anderson. And with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Allie LaForce. And now, the Atlanta Hawks starters. The talented duo of Young and Murray on the backcourt. DeAndre Hunter is out there with Johnson. And it's Capella in at the center position. And for Chicago, Kobe White out there with Desumu. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. And then it's Alex Caruso, and it's DeRozan in at the power forward position. Past the midway point of the season now, Smitty, you have a favorite for league MVP? Yeah, I have my personal favorite, but it's still too early to call. So much can happen on the back half of the season. Here we go. And it's the Hawks to start out. Left side, Murray. Outside, Young. Pass to Johnson. From outside, off the mark. Here's DeRozan. Hey, DeMar DeRozan! That move from DeMar DeRozan was a nasty great play. Alex Caruso. Johnson passes to Young. And here's Hunter from the arc. That's it! DeAndre Hunter for three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. It's Caruso. Pass to White. Uncovered. And the jump. Pretty boy. Kobe White. Kobe White. Time or space to get off that catch and shoot. Inside. And come on. Lynn to go. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Smitty, ever since the Rose and Butler era came to an end, the Bulls have lacked stability. You're so right, B.A. They have filtered through coaches. Nick the law. Who's Even acquired all-star players. From Kobe White. For consistent success. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Right side, Murray. 
outside way. And let's say about this one here. This was in a day that they really wanted to be playing this one here again. But if the Bulls wanted to play against for the, the Hawks, they have to show the response out of it. And they need to keep this thing going to stick on their possession on this game. It's not way easy enough, but this may have been a change off what they do. But for Lucevic, and for Young, and for Kapala, and also for Kobe White, <laughs> they've got to keep practicing out there. They've got to show them what they do, because they can't leave the mark out of it. Let's get back over to B.A. And here we can check out the story for Trey Young. Strike. 
Trey Young. On the assist by Hunter. The assist Just by. Eight points. DeAndre yeah, Hunter. Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Well, one thing we know about Trey Young, he is fearless when it comes to big shots. B.A. Trey Young loves to play spoiler. Goal attending. Got the bucket. Got the solution for the Chicago Bulls. Number three, Andre Drummond. Making some changes. Ivan Carter. Checked in for Vucevic. Terry comes in for Desumo, and it's Carter. And for Terry. Atlanta's gone four to five from distance here in the first quarter. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Bay. Shoots it from the corner. Steady play. Good off the front iron. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Their shots to fall so far. They're five of ten. One fifty-one left in the first quarter. To Rosen with the D-boy bucket. D-more. He Rosen. Just able to catch and shoot. Young the pass to Fernando. Oh, it's blocked. Dean Franks! Dean Franks! Outside Young. Back to Johnson. To the middle. And book it, Fernando. Van Bernardo. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Now here's Drummond. He's coming off a 10-point game. Alex Caruso! This is on the glass, too. They really racked up on the boards out there. Boy, oh boy. Both teams lighting it up to start this game. Then you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Here's Young. The Bulls making their last shot. And book it. Yeah, Bernardo. Using his He's assist line. Trey Young. He's the open man. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. DeRozan. Andre Drummond. Oh, wow. Neymar DeRozan. Scores through the air and explodes on the finish. Twenty-six seconds left now in the first quarter. Bay right side. Back to Young. Pass to Fernando. Up top, Young. He's checked by Carter. Good. Trey Young. Young's got 10. Terrific move from Trey. Man, he is confident trying plays like this. Devon Rosen. In the night out, this offense is there. He's that is the, the first quarter. Chicago Bulls, 24. And Atlanta Hawks, 24. 24. And so that ends the first quarter. Both teams are tied up. We'll catch you on the flip side for the second quarter, coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA playing tournaments on 2K Sports. That's some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? You know, they've been relentless in how they attack the paint. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. We've got Kobe White. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's Taylor in at the four. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And he's Calls on layup for two. Obon Bogdanovich. He has his first personal foul. Called DeMar DeRozan a first team ball. Maybe rightly so. Not a lie for Chicago Bulls. Number 11. Demar DeRozan. Not a line. First two shots.
that free throw, no good. So Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, PA, I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella, he just got drafted, but the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. He has mastered the art of getting himself to the free throw line. And DeRozan knocks them down at a high level. Pass to Bogdanovich. And it's cleared by Vucevic. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Murray against DeRozan. Out to the right wing. Out left to the wing. Clock at six. Here's Terry. Defended by Bogdanovich. That was excellent contest. Preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Pass to Johnson. Here's the three. And it's Chicago with the board. Vucevic has got four rebounds now. Outside White. Here's Terry. Defended by Bogdanovich. Kicks it to DeRozan. Three-point bucket, DeMarie Rosen. We talked about DeRozan's lack of supreme range. Wouldn't know it from one. Defense! Defense! Back to Hunter. Being on the arc. They grab their own miss. Capella finds Bogdanovich. And the whistle. Offensive foul on the Hawks. The Marie Donovan's been his second personal. So for him. So we're seeing foul. Great defense. Just refuse to establish his feet. New substitution now for the Chicago Bulls. He's checked in for Chicago. Number 12, A.O. Decimo. Matthews checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Okay, Brian. A.O. Decimo. But now they're looking to return to contention. Trey Young said, quote, we'll be all right. It's really just about us taking care of what we can control and making sure we're ready every night. But if we get into a rhythm, it'll take care of itself. Right. Yeah, Andre Hunter with a three. A legit threat from outside. Hunter is very confident taking these shots. White against Murray. White the pass to Desumu. To the inside. Here's Taylor. Hunter with the rebound. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait, but you can't blame him. The under hitter. He's hit three he's his time. attempts. Go on with the Dunnish. DeAndre does damage down low. Here's the sumo. White with it. Over Murray. And again, it's... Kobe White! Here's Murray. Outside Bogdanovich. Picked it! The sumo on the wing. And he lifted it. the It's a five point Chicago lead. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. As to Bogdanovich. with it, covered by Vucevic. Just five on the clock. Vucevic with a steal. And here's the fast break. Here's Taylor. Hunter with the rebound. Man, coach is going to have a few words with him after that shot. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. And now here's Bogdanovich coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Just five to shoot. Hunter passes to Murray. Shoots over White. Murray, no good. For Chicago, they've got four of eight shots to drop in the second. Down low. Here's to Sumo. Rebound Atlanta. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Hornets. 
Yeah, I think they'd like to forget that game. They usually want to find some teaching moments, but in this case, it might be best to just destroy the tape. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we overanalyze things. Can't be better to just let it go. And again, Chicago, no good. Atlanta's gone five of eight from outside the three-point line of this one. Back to Hunter. Bogdanovich from long range. That one is off. Chicago has gone three of six from deep so far. White against Capella. White. Kobe White. Eight points. Terrific. Atlanta timeout. Kobe White uses his athleticism to find a shot. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Protecting the rim it has to be their top objective right now. And yeah, it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team shorted, the other allowed itself to be bullied. Coming up later, we'll be the halftime show as we have is Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jeff Smith, and Chad Romeo as we get this thing down right on the board. The Hawks are in terrible right now. They need to push this thing up right again to get into this game. And this one, Trey Young, their team needs to get back into this one. Coming up with a loss of the game here at, a, at home playing against the Phoenix Suns. That happened for last season, and they were not doing really well this offensively enough. They are trying to keep this thing out of range, and they do not want to be showing up here again. Uh, they're having a little bit of tough of a team, but they need to get this thing done before it's too late, and then your season will be done. It'll be like no more for them. They have to keep on coming down, because if they don't do it, then it's all over. That has no range, no confidence, no hardness to take. It's a feeling what they have to do. So the halftime show is coming up after this. Guys, back to you. New substitution for the Chicago Bulls. Caruso comes in for Terry. Oh. Alex Caruso. For DeSumo. For Atlanta, they've gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. Two minutes remaining. The first half of the period. Two minutes. There's Young with the three. Atlanta again missing. The Bulls have gone just five of 12 here in the second quarter to the paint. Caruso. It's deflected. So quick off the floor, Murray can afford to wait until the shooter commits. To stop the drop. Hey. Sunny Bet. Just taking what the defense allows, and that's a shot he'll make all night. White against Murray. Back to White. Takes a three. Three point bucket, Kobe! White! Ooh, they've been on fire from deep this quarter. Their percentage has been rising and rising. Pass to Murray. Carter against Young. And they're going to kill Trey Young. And they'll send him to the line. Second foul, Yvonne Carter. That's his first personal. For his team foul. Body control, the will to complete the shooting for Atlanta with the potential. Number 11, Jay Young. New substitution for the Chicago Bulls. Number 11, the Marty Rosa. They've been making it look easy to find penetration in this one. Attacking the lanes and forcing the issue with the D. Another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper. <laughs> it's been falling with ease so far. The confidence Trey Young plays with is really something. It helps him be such a thorn in the D side. Now here's DeRozan. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Cavs and Cleveland. Neymar! DeRozan! They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Here's Young. Soft Trey Young. The glass. He's got 15. Look at the numbers Trey Young has put up in this one. He does it all. DeRozan finds White. And there's the lob, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Bay passes to Young. And Fouls on the ball corner. The it's like a more zone. It's second team foul. Because he goes inside more than people mention. Jerry Murray Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young. Out of line for two shots. And the 
first one at the line is good. Gotta say, Ice Trey Young, I mean, Ice Young, baby, that's gonna have to do for him. He's cold, freezing cold. But hopefully, he might stay alive to go with another foe. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Showing more aggression here in the second quarter. He's seeking contact and working himself to the line. It's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Now Carter, averaging around five points a game. Jacks up a three, and Bay pulls it down. Young looking around. Bay outside. He got it up. It's good! Steady Bay for a three. Buzzer. That's the end of the first half. The Chicago Bulls, 41. And Atlanta Hawks, 41. Comes to a close in a tie game. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel, that's your Keel O'Neill. A lot of big time action so far in this game. DeMar DeRozan putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 13 points and one assist. What do you think, Shaq, about Chicago? Well, their strategy department decided to work well so far. I wouldn't get away from it if I was drawing up to say that. Uh, keep working to the posts, and you got to win that physical battle. Talk to McKinney. How did you think Atlanta did? You have to recognize that they're Sometimes we overlook the second game. But tonight, they did Coaching staff has got to be loving this. Getting that extra boost is key. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. I'm about to get underway. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. We're seeing a tremendous game from Trey Young. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Chicago has gone four of eight from three, a nice percentage. And Atlanta, looking at who they've got. Murray and Hunter fill out the waves. Clint Capella out there with Johnson. And it's Young in at the point. Here's DeRozan. Rebounded by the Hawks. They'll be hosting Toronto for their next one. And that kicks off a string of three home games for them. Johnson finds Murray. And here's Hunter for the lead. It's hauled in by White. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. To DeRozan. Oh, DeRozan! Shooting at a high clip. He's from Kobe White with the six. The Hawks trailing. Capella, the pass to Young. Trey Young. The assistant Hawks. Clint Capella. Great awareness by Capella to recognize the breakdown defensively. Stolen by Young. Fast break now for the Hawks. And it's Trey Young. A hard fought matchup. Seven league changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. Pass to White. Now Caruso. Here's the Sumo. Six points for him. Yeo, the Sumo. And his third basket of the night. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Hunter can't get it to go. The Bulls have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Inside. Here's White. The rebound by Murray. Murray's got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Johnson. To the middle. Here's Capella, and the lead is Capella. good after it. It's this by Jalen Johnson. Capella's got his second bucket of the game. Chicago trailing here. To the inside. And 
Nikola Vucevic. Romeo Dosimu with the six. Booyah. Johnson on the way. Outside Young, pass to Murray. Right side Young. Oh, Trey Young. He's his spawn. He's fearless. Trey Young knows he's ready to take contact, and it doesn't matter at all. Deontay Murray. Here's Butchovic. Outside White. Over Johnson. Off the left rim and out. For Atlanta, they've got four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Murray passes to Johnson. Jalen Johnson for three. Murray. Assisted by Deontay Murray. Woo, he got a clean look and he pulls timeout. Big for disrespecting him. Chicago calls timeout. Boy, what a great performance by Trey Young. At some point, you have to try and force the ball out of his hands. But that's easier said than done. Oh, you The NBA Play-In Tournament is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. Starry Lines. And by American Express. Don't let life without it. We got some couple NBA playoffs coming in your action right underway as we're about to be seeing the first game underway soon as we will be starting with the fourth versus the fifth seed. Following along with the next game as we will be taking you on the other side of the Western Conference. That will be coming up later tonight. And the next game for the playoff game will be happening with the second seed versus the seventh seed. And then the next one will be on the other side of the Western Conference for the start of the third seed versus sixth seed. Then the second one will be all for everything for day one for, for four and fifth seed. We'll be right back to the U.S. Now back to the A. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. The leader inside, Capella with the defensive effort. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Now here's Johnson. Six points for him. Here we go. Caruso pass to DeRozan. Two easy. more. DeRozan. For it, DeRozan just makes it. Alex Caruso with these six. has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Hunter. Puts up a three. That one's good. Yeah, it's a one to assist. The three. The assist by Trey Young. Defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Here's the sumo. Guarded by Young. 11 feet out. Jump shot is good. There you go. Ten points in the game. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. And here's Young. Give him 23. And here's Hunter from the arc. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got a sixth rebound on the night. You know what, though? They keep calling him. He Rose. He's in. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work. And it's eight. Diddy Fats! Now here's Bogdanovich. Diddy Fats! No points yet. Pass to Johnson. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter period. Two minutes. Down five on the shot clock. Fades away. Gets hauled in by the Bulls. Caruso's got his fourth rebound in this one. Well, Smithy, one of the league's stingiest wing defenders, Alex Caruso, and his motor makes him a fan favorite. Yeah, sometimes a player comes around and he just vibes with the fans. Caruso has been that guy in every city. Atlanta's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Bob Obama That's been typical of their this performance did today. Dylan Johnson. And creating good shots. Rosen with the ball, and Johnson picks him up defensively. 
throws it down the lane. Capella with a rebound. The Hawks leading. Outside Young. Pass to Capella. Young against DeRozan. Back to Hunter. Shoots over to Sumu. Offensive rebound. Johnson passes to Hunter. Bogdanovich on the wing. Fires the three. Rebound by the Bulls. Phil Russo's got five rebounds tonight. The Sumu. The pass to DeRozan. Johnson against Caruso. Here he goes. Alex Caruso. Pulling his way down the line. Caruso, a tough one to slow down. If you can, use up the clock en route to the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Back to Young from outside the arc. That's the end of the third quarter. They come the Bulls, 55. And the Hawks, 57. Leading by just two. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. I'll have more details here after the play-in tournaments. And we'll keep your eyes to the field for a hop ahead. Fourth quarter is coming up after this. Quinn Snyder with some words for his players. Let's just keep playing with the same intensity, okay? On misses, you guys really run in space. Anyone can bring it. He's trying to maintain that edge right now. Okay, it's time for the fourth quarter. Let's hear you make some noise. Bulls Nation, let's get no We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. They've got Alex Caruso. Javon Carter is out there. Very young. Then it's Andre Drummond. And it's Taylor in at the power forward position. That's the five out there for the Bulls. So it's Chicago now. After the Hawks picking up a basket just moments ago. Caruso with it. Now Bogdanovich defending. Carter can't get it to go. Stolen by Drummond. Oh, and there's the foul. The Number 13, Borlaw Bogdanovich. His first personal foul. Andre Drummond seeking out. First team foul. Because he's okay at the free throw line now. And, and a line for the Chicago Bulls. Andre Drummond. For Atlanta. It's just and a line for two. Clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. Another thing they're doing well tonight is shooting from long distance. All game long, they've been finding openings at the perimeter. Falls for Drummond. Okay, bear with me, okay, Smitty? An argument can be made that Andre Drummond is the best rebounder in NBA history. Okay, Grant, the top two all time in rebounding percentage, Andre Drummond and Dennis Rodman. Those two might be the best I've ever seen on the glass. He makes one or two that time. Andre Drummond's game has to improve at the free throw line if he wants to be a go to player. To Bogdanovich. Here's Fernando. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Chicago has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Murray. And it's Beyond a Murray. Finishing it off. This is why. Bogdanovich shows excellent feel as a playmaker. That was a nice find. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Carter against Murray. Now here's White. Fernando grabs the miss. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Murray passes to Young. Hey, from long range. Steady cut. First three. This is fine. Young's got Straight up. This tonight. 
They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Now here's Caruso. Pass to Taylor. Shot clock at five. Here's Carter. Here's Drummond. Goes up. Andre Drummond. Drummond is very active on the offensive of glass. This is where he can pile up a lot of points. Outside Bogdanovich. White against Young. Pass to Murray. From deep. Rio Bonendo, this is going to be a virtual foul, first team foul, this is coming on to the floor for the Hawks, Garrison Matthews. And it's Caruso with the ball for Chicago, Chicago calls time. Chicago Bulls timeout. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. We're coming up there very quickly, but actually right now, there will be the first game happening here with the fourth and fifth seed. Following along with the second game will be the third and sixteenth. Then for the other side of the Western Conference, as we will have this one for the start of a second versus seventh seed, and then the fourth and fifth seed will be the first day. And then the second day will happen to be at all of it in between. The first versus the eighth seed of the team, after, the, after this one for the second and seventh seed, then the first and the eighth seed. Then at, at, on the other side, the third and sixth seed, it will be happening to be again, to be on the other hand, and then the first and eighth seed that will be happening here on the second day to keep your eyes peeled on. I will have more info and to find out who will head to the next round to start off for the playoffs of the game. Will it be the Hawks to ready to step up to beat the Bulls, or the Bulls beat out the Hawks? Back to BA for for back for another of the game play. Back to you. chance to hear what Billy Donovan was saying to the team. Coach delivering an inspiring message to his team saying, quote, hey, we can win this game. Believe in yourselves. Battle to the end. Honestly, guys, even I was a bit pumped up after hearing this one. Good job there, Ali. Thanks. Hey, Andre Morgan for the three. The assistant box. When you allow Trade up. From the perimeter. Carter against Murray. Russo with it. Back to Carter. Launches it. And to Andre Drummond. Now Young. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. To the wing, right side. Matthews passes to Fernando. And it's Chicago with the board. Here's White. Right side Carter. Pass to White. Now here's Drummond. Back to White. Wide open look. Fernando grabs the miss. Fernando's got four rebounds now. Murray passes to Young. And the counts. He's fouled. 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 He's Troy Terry. Free throw, no good for Young. 
The Bulls have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Terry, the pass to DeRozan. Pass to Terry. The circle with the three. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got six rebounds in the game. And here's Young. Now here's Capella. Over Drummond. And Capella, Capella. Go on the assist from Young. The assist ball. Young's there you go. Seven assists in the game. Chicago has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Atlanta ball. Just not on the same page. Coming in for the new substitution, number nine, Nikola Vucevic. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset. And try Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter period. Two minutes. Right side, Hunter. Back to Murray. Three pointer. Oh, Trey Young for three. Coming down the stretch, they full side You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry, but it can go the other way as well. Now a timeout called by Chicago. They trail by 14. 149 left to play in the fourth quarter. And we have some time now to present your New Balance player of the game. Looks like the Trey Young might have been a great game to be here with this team. And I'm thinking it's time to step in to the, to the win to get in to the NBA playoffs to face against the Magic. Now this offense, I'm not even crazy enough of what they do, but this offense may be the struggle thing to get this thing done. I'm hoping there's a good way to make a chance off it. Let's find out if they do. Performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, but just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He thinks it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Well, they were coming off two straight losses, and he put his foot down. He stepped up his game, had a big night, and got them moving in the right direction again. Forty-nine left in the fourth. DeRozan with the ball. Oh, no good again that time. Capella against DeRozan. Outside Young. It's good. There you go. Young's got 15 points against the second half. Billy Cabella. The distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Hawks. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, but a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And this will go down as win number 25 for them this year. Yeah, they Murray Boy, for they three. need to win this game after dropping their first two matchups against this squad. Now they can go into the final game of the season series with a ton of confidence. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Trey Young. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. Now here's Bay. Pass to Murray. Bay outside. Six on the shot clock. Over Vucevic. Bay, no good. And so here is Chicago, trailing by 19. Terry, the pass to White. To win the run. And Kobe! What? Shot selection, but you've got to appreciate his confidence. Now Young. And that's the game. 
W here. Final score for the, the NBA playing tournament. So, like the Hawks, 79. And Chicago Bulls, 62. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what dominant. Thank you, fans, for joining us here for tonight's big game. And we can't go on to the news. We're heading back for a new season. Get home safely. Trey, this is a young team. Talk about the chemistry and the connection and how you play together. Um, and if you're on this outside of the locker room, you can tell why we, why we support each other so well, and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, you can tell that we have a lot to get at, and uh, I know that's true. The connection is there on and off the court, guys. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill. This is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you later. All right, Brian, thank you very much. The Atlanta Hawks finally make its way for the end of this roading drought without leaving your team alone, and this is now coming in to the end of a runoff to face against the Orlando Magic, the losing team against that they lost against the Miami Heat in the Battle of Florida. Now, this one is going to be all coming down in for the last two in between, between Georgia and Florida. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 60 and 52 was a field goal and three-pointer percentage for the Atlanta Hawks. 67 was the Chicago Bulls on the other side. 13 fast break points was Atlanta. 38 points in the paint was Chicago Bulls with second chance points for four. 16, 27 bench points and assists turned to be great for Atlanta Hawks. Six offensive rebounds was Chicago Bulls. And 26 defensive rebounds was Atlanta Hawks. Five steals for Chicago Bulls turned out great. Two blocks to turn to be Atlanta with six turnovers. Both team fouls between three for Chicago and Atlanta. Then six dunks with Chicago with the biggest part of a dunk of this contest. We're looking for someone else can do it. 19 biggest lead for Atlanta, 14 and three with Chicago Bulls, and two timeouts was remain for Atlanta. So I hope you all enjoyed this one here. Time for three star players of the game. I'll send it over to Terry Cruz this time. Terry, what do you have? All right, thank you so much. Time to get this thing on here for three star players of the game. As Wood Spoonie, you'll see him later for the next one for the pregame. The third star, we're going to start things off here to make a shuffle on the board. I'm sending it over right to Kobe White with 13 points, two rebounds, three assists. He only had gotten six out of ten field goal range, one three pointer, and only 19 performance from as his effort. Well, and better to be the veteran of the University of North Carolina, just like Michael Jordan does. But his team will be back for next season. Number two is DeMar DeRozan with 19 points, one rebound, and only had made one dunk performance. He had 12 field goals, two three-pointers, and that was his one dunk of his effort, all for one. And that was however he did, to play for his first smart defensive balance settling. And for offense, how it does. And your first star player of the game, Trey Young. Your New Balance player of the game with 32 points, 7 assists, 1 steal, 51 performance effort, 13 out of 16 field goal range with 3 pointers made with 3, and that was all it definitely took. Trey Young, the biggest star, Ice Trey, here I come. On now to play at Orlando. And that will do for the three star players. Thank you there, Beast. All right, Terry, no problem at all. You're welcome, my command. And that will be it for the 9th and 10th Eastern Conference play-in tournaments as the Bulls are eliminated. They are out of here, and we'll see them next season. But this one's not done yet. Stay tuned for tomorrow night. That will be happening on the other side of the West Coast in the California Territory as the Lakers face on against the Golden State Warriors at Crypto.com Arena. James, will he do it take another chance to beat the Warriors? Or will they, Warriors, snap out the LA Lakers? You'll find out for tomorrow's game. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you all again next time for the NBA Play-In Tournament on 2K Sports. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA Play-In Tournament on 2K24 Dial. This is Son of Beast, and you can follow me on my social media I'm on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Link to my about page, they're right down here below. If you don't, somebody will. Thanks for watching, folks. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.